Welcome to part 3 of the top 10 illustrator tools a beginner should master. In our last tutorial, I showed you the direct selection tool and its different functions. Now we're going to focus on the pen tool. The pen tool is a really important tool to master, and for some it's a little confusing at first. Photoshop has the pen tool as well, and it's important to learn in both. The pen tool is basically a drawing tool. It is used to draw more complex sh shapes than, say, a square or a circle. The formal definition of it would be that it creates paths or anchor points, which are lines, and creates bezier handles to control the lines. So let's get started. Now we're going to start off with a black stroke, and our fill is going to be transparent or blank so I can show you the different lines that it draws. The pen tool can create two types of lines, straight and curved lines. Let's start with straight lines since it's the easiest. And to do that you basically click, 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 and it makes you know straight lines, a straight line shape. And right before you close it, you'll see a white circle pop up and that lets you know that this is the last point so you can close the shape. Now let's say you also want to create a straight line that's horizontal so you to do that you would click hold shift down and click again and it'll make a straight horizontal line and the same works for a vertical line too. You click hold shift and even if it's over here it's going to make a straight line. The second kind of line the pen tool can create are curved lines or bezier curves. And to do that, first start your line, and on the next anchor point, you create click and hold, and you'll see these two bezier handles pop up. And it, these basically act like gravity and pulls the line in whatever direction that they're in. All right, so we'll leave that one there. We'll create another one and click and hold, and we'll make another curve. And we'll just go around and make a shape. Now our... Um, white circle pops up so let's just know that we're gonna close it alright now let's say we don't like either of these shapes because they're not the shape that we wanted so after we've already drawn it we can go back to our direct selection tool and we can select points and manipulate the bezier handles and create a shape that we like it's always good practice to, to get it your shape as close to what you want the first time just so it saves uh, on editing and you can do the same for the straight lines second option for the pen tool is the add anchor points option and that basically does what it says uh, for it to work you have to actually have one of these shapes selected click on the add anchor points uh, option and on the lines you'll see a plus sign and that will add anchor points to your shape and you can do it on all the shapes on the straight line it's going to be hard to see because it's straight but that's just if you want to go back and make it a little more dynamic and you can do the same on the straight lines pretty simple the third option for the pen tool is the delete anchor points uh, tool and again it, it does what it says you have your object selected and we're going to get the delete anchor points and you see the minus you have to do it over the anchor points too and it'll oops it'll delete anchor points and, but it'll keep the shape closed still another way to do that if you don't want it to mess up your shape is you can select one of the points and if you press delete it'll delete it and it'll delete the section and open the shape up but you can go back with your pen tool and the little slash here lets you know that this is gonna add to the shape so we'll click there and have our circle and close it the last option for the pen tool is the bezier handle tool the Bezier Handle Tools allows you to add lines on anchor points that don't already have them. Let's say, for instance, you had a shape with straight lines and you wanted to add curves to it. The Bezier Handle Tool makes this simple. Alright, so let's, with our object selected, click on the Bezier Handle and on the anchor points, click and hold and it turns it into a 
Bezier curve. And we can go around and add curves all the way around the shape. The pen tool takes some finesse and a little drawing ability, so it takes practice to master. I would say start out by tracing photos or just drawing freehand shapes with it until you get comfortable with it. That concludes the pen tool. Our next tutorial is going to be the text tool.